Hi, welcome to Nice. This is Place Garibaldi under the rain. It rained a little earlier. I was convinced that uh, they were doing archaeological excavations here, new ones, but not at all. They installed something else. Here is where they discovered several things. And you can see behind the stone wall right there. A burial also all sorts of things going on while trying to work on the tram so I'm heading down towards the port and you're welcome to just join me and explore ask any questions about uh, local life architecture ah Alaska bonsoir l'Alaska ici we have cafes all over on the place Garibaldi hello Marta Katie, hi. Russell Verse. Ah, ça me fait plaisir. Saludos. Miami. Pittsburgh. Et ben voilà. So we can actually uh, go down this street, Cassini, or we can go down the other one. Let's take this one. So see the little, we have different, the sales are still going on. This is a barber. And just before we had the shoe store this is a great aperitif trendy aperitif shop with their slogan make aperitif uh, not war <laughs> aperitif is before the the meal you can enjoy a low glass of wine with some food voilà. Hector, merci d'avoir partagé sur twitter oh really miami <laughs> oh. Miami, going to real estate, how much does an apartment cost? And the pièce, we have one right there, 245. Me, obviously, all this is in euros. Uh, euros, like the exchange rate right now with uh, dollars is about, with 1.1 dollar approximately, I get one euro. I would love to include Nice in my travels. Hey, that's great. This is a new tea shop, you know, very zen, minimalistic tea shop here. Well, I was considering setting up, organizing actually a trip. But I, I was wondering how long people would like to stay on the French Riviera. If they were traveling and investing in, you know, the trip, the airplane, etc. Would they be willing to stay five days or six days? One of my uh, Canadian students was saying she would like to stay 10 days, five days, right? Me too, I'm, but it's because I'm not really a sort of, a, I don't like organized tours, you know, I like to be a dash independent and to kind of go fast. But in five days, yes, there's, you know, Monaco to see. There's one day to discover Nice. Five, seven days, okay. Uh, there is Antibes that is beautiful and a perched village, what we call, you know, a medieval village. And if you want to have one day off to explore, then you're already up to five or six days. C'est intéressant. Thank you for that feedback. I think the best time to come on the Côte d'Azur is what they call middle season because the prices are not so high you still have a very decent weather and people are dash more relaxed because it's not the high uh, tourist season and it's less crowded I get to travel around one day I might not want to leave it's so lovely there yes I understand that yeah when, you're, when you like your place kind of when you fall in love with it because everything seems perfect but actually it's kind of the same thing probably you know when you live in a place like the, the grass is uh, always greener somewhere else I guess when you have curly hair you often want to have it straight when it's straight you would love it to be curly kind of that it's another real estate place here that one looks nice Vieux Nice, étage élevé, 60, 60 mètres carrés, 60 square meters. 
under the roof it gets uh, colder though during the winter and hotter during the summer so you really need air conditioning oh very safe yes I mean I don't go walking around at 2 o'clock in the morning I'm curling my straight hair <laughs> Ah, some people want to know if I have uh, high heels on. Talon is heels in French. No, no, no. I don't have any uh, high heels on. J'ai pas de talon. J'ai mes nouvelles uh, petites bottes achetées dans les magasins pour le sol. Donc, très, très fière. Je les adore. Et voilà. Donc, this, you wouldn't think. But this is the port of Nice, and they're working on the last stop of the tram right there. And over there you arrive at the castle. And under these uh, beautiful arches, look at the height. And look, we're walking in someone's steps. Right here. So, how do I say sales in French? I say solde. Right here. Um, they just opened. This is the most recent. Ça c'est un des euh, bars un peu euh, les plus in euh, du moment. C'est euh, le Boston. They made a, they called it Boston. It's the latest bar that kind of opened and one of the trendiest. Trendiest. And look, these are kind of details that I love. So we arrive in the other street if we pass underneath. Oh, Fibrazine, thank you. And there you kind of have. These are sort of prestigious buildings that are all around the port. They're very old. And when I look up on the ceiling right there, look what, you know, there's little tiny details all over and I just love them. I love passing underneath. I don't have the time to take you inside, but there is a little tiny church right here. I'll show you. Cross. This is the church of the port. It has a beautiful facade. Let me show it to you right here. If you can really hear me because of all the cars welcome to all so here is where I would catch the bus to go to Monaco one of the stops and I could actually um, stop you know before at Saint Jean Cap Ferrat this is a place okay great sound seems the sound is decent that's great I can't show you, but this is a lovely little shop. It's been closed forever, and I'm wondering why, because I would really like to. I never saw this real estate agency right there. So I'm still under, we're getting at the end of the arcade, but you see the beautiful caisson. And this is a French bank often it's the best if you're traveling from the United States okay, the name of it is uh, BNP Paribas often it has the best connection with uh, American banks I don't know for Canadian banks I would have to ask Antonella merci d'avoir invité so you see the other side of the building and when you have the sunlight on it, it's beautiful. Let's go around there and give it a nice walk. Thank you so much for joining. When you have the sun on it, it's just this beautiful ochre. It's almost a, a sienna earth kind of, very vibrant. And the details, let me try to catch one or two. Now that we don't have the light, you can see all the little tiny details all around it and the tall tall doors with the arch so 
so 300 days of sun per year so we always have swimming suits <laughs> sunglasses too are handy when traveling to the French Riviera and I think I'm gonna wrap it up there I'm going to get my daughter at her dance class I really appreciated guys joining thank you so much Je vous fais plein de bisous et je vous dis à bientôt. Let me just cross super fast. À bientôt. Bye bye.